Okay, in this presentation what we're going to do is we are going to look at ggplot and what we're going to do here, ggplot2 is the name of the R package, ggplot is the name of the command, and what we're going to do is see how we can create scatter plots with ggplot, nice simple scatter plots. I'm only going to sort of, uh, just sort of a few elementary examples just to sort of get the ball rolling. The way that you enhan enhance them that will come later on. So what I'm going to do first off is just cre check that I have my package loaded up, ggplot2, there we go, M sleep. okay never mind that. And what we're going to do here is we are going to use a data set called mtcars. mtcars is an inbuilt data set so if you just type in mtcars that will come up. Okay, oh, that's the, the last uh, 30, that's the last six cases. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to use two um, numeric variables from this data set. We're going to pick out the first one, MPG, which means miles per gallon, and the sixth one, WT, which is weight. Okay, and we're going to those, use both of those numeric variables. Okay, so importantly, this is a thing that you shouldn't really develop as a skill set, is that when you're using ggplot, you're not just sort of trying random things, you're just picking out variables and try and learn something about those variables, okay? And so first off, we understand that they're both numeric, that's important, okay? And we have two of them, okay. So another just actually thing I'm going to sort of say is that I'm using base R just actually because I can make it nice and easy to read. Uh, it's very uncluttered, uh, so when you're looking at YouTube, it's very clean. So, if, but if you're using something like R Studio, fine, okay. But it's just to, to, for the sake of picture quality on YouTube, there we have it there. So now let's start off. So the command is ggplot, okay, and the data set we're going to use is empty cars, okay. Now the aesthetics uh, is the variables, okay. AES means the variables, or aesthetics, but really what we're meaning here is the variables. So x we're going to use have as weight, and y is going to be miles per gallon, okay. Whoops, mpg, okay. So that's just the sort of the fundamental part of a ggplot object, okay, or a sort of exercise or a plot. So you actually just specify the data set and the relationship between the variables and what how they were, how they fit into the grand scheme of things, okay? So our x variable here is weight, our y variable here is miles per gallon. We can add in a few other variables later on. But for the time being, we'll just sort of take things nice and slowly in the meantime. So I'm just going to hit return there. And what we have here is not much actually so far. I mean, it doesn't even look like much. It just looks like a blank screen there. You might be able to detect the grid lines. Essentially what we've done there, I'm just going to close that down. Essentially what we've done there is actually, it's like we're painting a picture, okay? But the first thing we've got to do is actually have a canvas. So it's like we've nailed some wood together and just stretched some canvas over it. That's all we've really done so far. We've not actually added in any points yet. What I'm going to do there is the, that line I just created there earlier on, I'm going to save that as an object because that's something you can do. So from now on, our canvas, so to speak, is called SP, okay, scatterplot, okay? And what we can do is additively add things to it. So, John point, okay, uh, is essentially points of a scatter plot. So we've just add, we're going to add po uh, scatter plot points to our canvas. There we go. Uh, it just pops up like that, and so far so good, okay. And uh, we can do more things to that, but actually I think I've really already got to the main part of what I needed to say. You can add a couple of things. You can change the color, change it to red, let's say. Uh, you can change the size. The default size is two, so the normal size is two. So one is like half the normal size. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Three, three is actually quite big, but there you go. I'll just leave that as is. Or actually, I'll make I'll scale it down to two point five. Okay, 
and I'll leave the color as red. Okay, so I can update my scatter plot object to permanently have um, points. Okay, scatter red uh, scatter plot points uh, on the canvas. Okay, so what we could do is, I mean, really have some of done the main part. I mean, uh, what I could do now is add in the titles, GG title, uh, my first scatter plot. There we go, just up up there at the top. You can actually, later on, we'll talk about how to uh, have more fine tuning for scatter plots. And what we can do once more is we can add in a regression line because I'm sort of promising you a regression line. So the thing we do there is add in stat smooth, okay? And this adds in, so jump smooth using method equals low S, okay? Um, so let's have a look at that there, see what we got. It adds in that uh, it's a regression line, but probably nothing you're familiar with in undergraduate statistics. It's very wiggly, obviously, and it's just, it's a sort of, uh, it's a very advanced way of regression, okay, that sort of uh, reacts to local changes, okay. That's really all I'm going to sort of say about it. So it's the default one, okay, it's more advanced. Obviously, if you're doing a statistics with very advanced objects, you know, or why not. But if you want to change it to the one that, like, you sort of commonly encountered in undergraduate statistics, LM, linear model, you can do that. Let's have a look there. Just puts in a straight line. Okay, and if you want to get rid of that prediction interval, which is the sort of blue ribbon, okay, see the, the ribbon on either side of the line? Sorry, just some waving around there, but you can sort of see it there. Very faint. So if you want to get rid of that, SE equals false. Let's see how that looks. Yep. So I'll just make that a little bit bigger there. So anyway, that's the sort of the fundamentals of creating a scatter plot uh, uh, with ggplot2. Okay, and again, more enhancements can be made upon that, but the enhancements that you can make beyond that, uh, they're not just specific to scatter plots. So, anyway, that's enough. I'll leave it there.